just this evening, Tesla unveiled the long-awaited V3 Supercharger. The capabilities of the V3 Supercharger are really exciting. So the V3s are going to have a 250 kilowatt output. Uh, the output is going to be dedicated, which means vehicles will no longer be sharing power. But what's most important is the Tesla Model 3, all versions of the Tesla Model 3 are going to be able to charge at the max charge rate of 250 kilowatts. That, trades, that translates into a peak charge speed of 1,000 miles per hour. Uh, also, that turns into, in more reasonable scales, you can charge 75 miles in just five minutes. I think this is a major game changer. Now, anybody who's thinking about getting an electric car, thinking about getting a Tesla, if they had any concerns about the amount of time they're going to be spending off the road charging, the fact that they can now get, with the V3 supercharger, 75 miles in five minutes, that's going to start overcoming even the most... Uh, even some of the more cautious people are worried about range anxiety. I mean, this is just incredible. Now, if you're a Model S and Model X owner, Model S owner like myself, the V3 supercharging network doesn't appear like it's gonna provide a whole lot to us. Uh, which is, uh, from what I've read, it's expected that the V2 superchargers are gonna be upgraded to 140, 145 kilowatts. Uh, there's no indication exactly what the peak is gonna be for Model S and X but it sounds like it's probably gonna be somewhere in that range. Now, what's limiting that? Why is it that the Model S and X aren't gonna be able to benefit from the new supercharging rate? It's believed that it's because of the battery cell technology that's included in the Model S and X, the more legacy cars versus the newer battery cells that are being used in all versions of the Model 3. It was, it was anticipated that the Model 3 was gonna have faster charging rates than the Model S and X, due to the cells being used on the Model 3. In fact, at the last Tesla earnings call, using say.com, that tool that was used so retail investors could ask Tesla questions during the shareholder meeting, um, Anwar Beck of Super Tesla Geeks put forward the question, if and when will Tesla Model S and X switch to the two to 2170 battery cells and what percentage range improvement do you expect? Well, to our surprise, Elon's response to that question was, no, there is no plan to transition the Model S and X to the 2170 cells. So at the time, there was no plan, and there may, no, there may still not be a plan, so there's no indication that the Model S and X are going to ever get the charging rates that the Model 3 is going to have, and that's just going to be a reality. Do I think that's a big deal? No, I think it will push some people to the Model 3 instead of the Model S and X, and I think in the long game of the master plan, that's what Tesla wants. I don't see Tesla eliminating the Model S and X. Elon has said those cars are here to stay, but I definitely see their investment going forward in the improvements being driven at the Model 3. And ultimately the Model Y that's coming, and I think we'll see those improvements added into the Tesla truck as well. But of the legacy lines, looking at the Model S, X, and 3, it seems that the massive improvements are being driven in the Model 3. Thank you for watching. Please like this video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe.